Hi, I'm Margaret and today I'm making Genoise sponge cake. This is a beautifully light one and it's a perfect sponge for a gatto. I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks for this one to get it absolutely perfectly light and gorgeous. So now we've lined the bottom of the tin, let's get some ingredients together. I'm going to start with a little oil, a little milk and also some vanilla extract. The oil is one of the ingredients that helps to make this cake beautifully light. The next ingredient is the flour and I'm taking out two tablespoons of this and replacing it with two tablespoons of corn flour. Now so that it mixes beautifully into the eggs later on, I'm going to sieve this flour twice. Then I'll pop this to one side and we'll start with the eggs. To make the best genoises, the eggs need to be really light and fluffy. The most common mistake when making this cake is to not beat the eggs enough. In order to help this process, we're going to give them a little whisk now and then we're going to pop them on the top of a pan of boiling water until they get to about 104 degrees Fahrenheit and we mix them all the time. You'll notice as you mix that the texture will change but keep checking that temperature. Then take them off the stove and I'll start to use my electric mixer on this. If you have a stand mixer this is even better but you can do it with a hand mixer quite nicely. Soon the eggs will start to froth and you can check if they're ready by lifting the mixture up and if it holds its shape on top of the froth then it's ready. Now I'm going to pour this into my mixing bowl and add the rest of the ingredients. Just one more little whisk to check it hasn't lost any of its fluffiness. Nope, that should be fine. Very gently in with the flour and I'm going to fold this in with my spatula. Gently round the edge and through the middle until we can't see any flour at all. There, that's about it. Then we just need the oil, milk and flavouring that we mixed earlier. And again, very gently. We don't want to get rid of too many of those air bubbles. Now this needs to be mixed until it reaches the right consistency. You can tell if it has because if you lift a little bit up, now that's not quite ready because it just flopped down onto the mixture. So a little bit more of a mix and let's try that again. And it should form a ribbon, there we go. That looks about right. A continuous ribbon without any breaks as you gently pour it back on top of the mixture. So into the prepared tin with it. And into the oven. Now this cake cools best if it's popped upside down. So over it goes on a piece of baking paper. This way you get a lovely flat surface on the top. Just needs to cool now. 
you can see how beautifully airy it is. It's risen perfectly. From this chinoise, I'm going to make a gâteau. But that's for next week. Thanks for joining me. Have a great week and I'll catch you soon.